Hi, and welcome back to Primo University. I'm Daryl Schultz, and in this class, I'm gonna answer the most popular questions that we get. We get a number of questions through our website, um, on our forum, social media, um, and even when we're out at events. So I'm gonna go through each one, and uh, for those of you who are considering Primo Ceramic Grills, I think this will help you uh, get a better understanding and, and make the best choice. The number one question that we get is, what is the difference between Primo Ceramic Grills and all other ceramic grills? Um, well, that's very easy to answer. Uh, the first being that we are the only ceramic grill made in the United States. Uh, virtually all other ceramic grill companies source their grills from foreign companies in China, India, Mexico. In our facility in Tucker, Georgia, we do everything from the mixing, the molding, the drying, the firing, the custom fit, and the packaging all from that facility. I think that that gives us just a great advantage over all other ceramic grill companies. Now another distinct difference is Primo's patented oval design. Uh, this came out in early 2000. Uh, traditionally Kamado grills, ceramic grills, have always been round. Uh, when we came out with the oval design, it created a whole new flexibility for ceramic grills. We were able to do two zone cooking is what it's called. Uh, we're able to create two distinct cooking zones where you can grill, you can roast on the same grill simultaneously. Uh, that, that's something that round grills, uh, they may promise it, but they can't deliver to the degree of a Primo ceramic grill. What's the difference between a Primo ceramic grill and a gas or a briquette charcoal grill? And that's very easy to answer as well. You know, as you can see, Primo grills are made of ceramics. Virtually all other grills are made from metal. The disadvantage with metal is that it radiates heat. You know, when you have a gas grill, you have a, a, a kettle grill, briquette charcoal grill, you put your hand on it when it's 400 degrees, you're, you're going to get a burn injury. Uh, that's not going to happen with Primo ceramic grills. Um, and when they're actually radiating that heat, they're pulling the moisture and all those natural oils out of the food. Uh, the difference in, in a Primo ceramic grill is that it holds in all that moisture, it holds in those natural oils, and, uh, and it really creates amazing flavor to food, uh, and ones that are far juicier than you can get with any type of a metal grill. And you know, the, the other thing too is, uh, with a gas grill, um, you're not gonna get that, that wood-fired flavor, that, that campfire flavor that you get uh, with the natural lump charcoal that you get in, in our grills. Um, so while you are getting, cooking outdoors, um, you're technically not getting that, that great charcoal flavor. You know, and even with briquette charcoal, um, that's really made from, from wood char and it does have some disadvantages. You know, they have different chemicals and binders in it, especially if it's an instant light type. Um, and that does impart a flavor to the food. You know, if, if you try um, our grill against uh, that type of charcoal, I think that you'll, you'll, you'll definitely see a difference in the, in the flavor of the food. Um, also, they, they can't get as hot as the natural lump charcoal briquettes. Uh, they reach about 550 degrees or so, and they do produce a lot of ash. How do I light the charcoal? Um, we covered this in one of our videos, but, but quite simply, there are a number of ways to light it. Primo makes a line of quick lights, which are paraffin and wood. Um, they come really much like a, a matchstick. You, you have a striker on the side, um, you nestle that in the charcoal and you can light it. Um, there are other ways, you know, people, some people do use electric starters, they use uh, the chimney starters. Um, some even use butane or MAP torches. Um, you just have to be very careful when you're using a, a torch if that's the choice that you make um, because you can get a lot of popping from the charcoal and, uh, and you do risk the chance of, of overheating and, and creating a hot spot on the charcoal where it, on the ceramics where it actually could crack. Um, so I would caution you on that. One very important caution is to never use uh, lighter fluid on, on a ceramic grill. If you do that, it will impart uh, kind of a distasteful color, kind of a chemical taste. So you never want to use that or any type of combustible liquid. How do you clean the grill? Well, luckily, Primo Ceramic Grills are self-cleaning. You know, it, you never really have to go in and clean it other than the cooking grates. And what I recommend is when you're done cooking, you can go into the grill, use our great cleaning bar, clean off those cooking grates real nice while the food is still well, it hasn't hardened and, and developed a kind of a hard residue. Uh, that's the best way to keep it clean. If you've got your cooking grates clean, 
then, uh, then you have a clean grill. Now you will notice over time as you use your grill that a, a black compound, some residue will build up inside of the grill. That's called creosote. That just comes from uh, a lot of delicious meals, I would say. Uh, but if you do feel the need that uh, you, you do want to eliminate some of that, you can use a soft bristle brush and just brush the inside of the dome, brush the, the inside of the base, and, uh, and that will take care of it. But unless you have a really huge buildup, you don't need to do that. Is what accessories do I need? You know, that, that really depends on what type of cooking that you're going to do. Uh, the one that I would really recommend that really extends the versatility of the grill is the heat deflector racks in place because that's what turns your, your Primo ceramic grill into uh, an oven, a roaster, and a smoker. Because then you're cooking with indirect heat. Um, you can also split those so you, you can be able to cook with the two zone method. Uh, so that's, that's a very versatile one that I would highly recommend. Now, you know, if you're cooking for a lot of people, we do have a number of extension racks for each grill model that we have. We have rib racks, we have a five slot, nine slot, a, a V rack as well. Um, just a whole host of accessories. Uh, but really, it's, it's, it's really all about the cooking that you wanna do. You know, if, if you're into authentic pizza, uh, then you're definitely gonna wanna buy the baking stone. Uh, that, that's gonna allow you to do that. But I would encourage you to go to our website Take a look at all of the accessories that are available. There's descriptions on every one of those, and, and that'll help you decide the best. Do I need a grill cover for my Primo ceramic grill? And, and the answer is it, it really depends on uh, where you want to use your grill. You know, if you're going to leave it outside, if you're going to uh, store it for, for extended periods, um, I would recommend getting a grill cover. Uh, they're not always, you know, Primo ceramic grills are made to live outdoors. So uh, while it's not necessary, really the most primary use that I, I would definitely say it was required is if you're using one of our teak or cypress tables. Just because wood is such a natural product and it's susceptible to the sun, you do want to protect that from day to day. In those instances, I would recommend that you get a grill cover. Will my Primo ceramic grill crack in extreme cold or in the rain or out in the elements? Uh, the answer is absolutely not. We have, uh, we have customers all around the world, uh, in Canada, in northern parts of Europe. Um, they send us pictures of them grilling and it's 40 below zero. Uh, so there is no danger of that. Even if you're uh, in an area where there's heavy amounts of rain, even if you have the grill up to six, 700 degrees and it starts to rain out, you don't have anything to be concerned about at all. Uh, the only thing I would caution you about is uh, if you do have a lit grill and it is very hot, um, the number one way not to extinguish the coals is to pour water into your grill. Uh, that is uh, kind of a danger zone and it will also uh, create quite a mess. What is Primo Ceramic Grill's warranty? Um, great question. Uh, we have a limited lifetime warranty on the ceramic parts plus a 20 year guarantee. And that, uh, a lot of people ask us, why, why do you tack on the 20 year guarantee? Uh, that, the answer is quite simple. Uh, when you have a lifetime guarantee, it is really determined by the state that that customer lives in. It's not by the actual company that's providing it. And sometimes that can be as little as seven years. So we want to give uh, all the assurance to the customers who, who've invested in Primo that uh, not only they have a lifetime, but it's backed by a 20 year guarantee. So 20 years out and beyond, you're going to be covered. Now, if there is a question that I haven't answered during this class, we would love to hear from you. Please go to primogrill.com, go to our contact page. Uh, there's a small form under that tab uh, that you can leave us your comments and questions and just leave us your email address. We'll be happy to respond. Now, if you are looking for a ceramic grill and you're considering Primo ceramic grills, I'd encourage you to go there, look at our full line of grills and accessories, and I would hope that we are a good fit for you. And just remember, when it's all about the food, it has to be Primo.